In today's video, we're going to take you through the steps of creating an iCloud account. To do this, we're going to click on our settings, and then we're going to go to iCloud, and this brings up our iCloud menu. Now, if you already have an Apple ID, you're going to stick it in the box and then put your password in, sign in, and everything is going to be taken care of you. All of your contacts, your calendar, your mail, all of that stuff will automatically start to sync with your iPad. But we're going to create a new account today. So we're going to click on Get Free Apple ID. And to do this, we have to first put our birthday down. Now, you'll see that if we use the date today, Apple will actually come up and tell us that we're not old enough yet to do that. So you have to make sure that you're at least 13 years old. So we're going to create a, a brand new account, and I'm going to put my birthday in here. Okay, I've put my birthday in here. I'm going to stick in my first and last name. Okay, I've put my first and last name in here. And now it's asking me to create my ID by using my current email address or to get a free iCloud account. And what I'd like to do is actually create a free iCloud email address. And I'm going to create. Now once you select this email account, it's going to be yours forever. They don't allow you to change it. So please make sure that you're using the right thing. I wouldn't use an email account that you know that down the road you're going to get uh, going to get rid of. Going to create a password for it. And now it's asking for some security questions. Celebrity, best friend, teacher, first concert. So I'll answer my first concert. And we agree to the terms and conditions here. And now we're in. We have a new iCloud email address and we have an, an iTunes and iCloud account. Would we like our iPad to use our location? Sure. Now on the right here we have our iCloud settings which we can alter. We have on top our iCloud account. We have our mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, Safari, notes, photo streams, documents, find my iPad. Of course if we'd like we can toggle them back and forth depending on how we would like to go. Now in our next videos we're going to be talking about each of these great apps how they integrate with iPad, and we'll also spend some time talking about this bottom function, storage and backup.